The next one is joblessness. Yeah. In the past, new technologies have come in which didn't lead to joblessness. New jobs were created. So the classic example people use is automatic teller machines. When automatic teller machines came in, a lot of bank tellers didn't lose their jobs. They just got to do more interesting things. But here, I think this is more like when they got machines in the Industrial Revolution and you can't have a job digging ditches now because a machine can dig ditches much better than you can. Mm. And I think for mundane intellectual labor, AI is just going to replace everybody. Now, it will, may well be in the form of you have fewer people using AI assistants. So it's a combination of a person and an AI assistant are now doing the work that 10 people could do previously. People say that it will create new jobs, though, so we'll be fine. Yes, and that's been the case for other technologies, but this is a very different kind of technology. If it can do all mundane human intellectual labor, then what new jobs is it going to create? You'd have to be very skilled to have a job that it couldn't just do. So I don't think they're right. I think you can try and generalize from other technologies that come in, like computers or automatic teller machines, but I think this is different. People use this phrase, they say, AI won't take your job, a human using AI will take your job. Yes, I think that's true. But for many jobs, that'll mean you need far fewer people. My niece answers letters of complaint to a health service. It used to take her 25 minutes. She'd read the complaint and she'd think how to reply and she'd write a letter. And now she just scans it into a chatbot and it writes the letter. She just checks the letter. Occasionally she tells it to revise it in some ways. The whole process takes her five minutes. That means she can answer five times as many letters. And that means they need five times fewer of her. So she can do the job that five of her used to do. Now, that will mean they need less people. In other jobs, like in healthcare, they're much more elastic. So if you could make doctors five times as efficient, we could all have five times as much healthcare for the same price. And that would be great. There's, there's almost no limit to how much healthcare people can absorb. Mm. They always want more healthcare mm. if, it, if there's no cost to it. There are jobs where you can make a person with an AI assistant much more efficient and you won't lead to less people because you'll just have much more of that being done. But most jobs, I think, are not like that. Am I right in thinking this sort of industrial revolution played a role in replacing muscles? Yes, exactly. And this revolution in AI replaces intelligence, the brain. So, so mundane intellectual labor is like having strong muscles and it's not worth much anymore. So muscles have been replaced. Now we, intelligence is being replaced. So what remains? Maybe for a while, some kinds of creativity. But the whole idea of super intelligence is nothing remains. These things will get to be better than us at everything. So what do we end up doing in such a world? Well, if they work for us, we end up getting lots of goods and services for not much effort. But that sounds tempting and nice, but I don't know, there's a cautionary tale in creating more and more ease for humans and in, in it going badly. Yes, and we need to figure out if we can make it go well. So the nice scenario is, imagine a company with a CEO who is very dumb, probably the son of the former CEO, mm -hmm. and he has an executive assistant who's very smart, and he says, I think we should do this. And the executive assistant makes it all work. The CEO feels great. He doesn't understand that he's not really in control. And in, in some sense, he is in control. He suggests what the company should do. She just makes it all work. Everything's great. That's the good scenario. And the, the bad scenario, she thinks, why do we need him? In a world where we have super intelligence, which you don't believe is that far away. I think it might not be that far away. It's very hard to predict, but I think we might get it in 20 years or even less. My takeaways are that industries that are not currently demand constrained won't necessarily experience job loss due to AI. And most jobs that require mundane intelligence will be replaced with AI. It makes you wonder how humans are going to find meaning after it's all said and done. Elon and Jeff Bezos talk about that in this video on screen. But what are your thoughts? If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you leave a like. A lot of effort goes into making these.